If you plan to do any racing or race style modification to your 350Z and you do not know who Sasha Anise is at On Point Dino, you are doing yourself a great disservice. Sasha is literally the tip of the spear on racing these 350Zs and he has done so many things with the chassis that you can learn from to improve your own 350Z, even without his budget and his connections. One of my personal favorite videos of his 350Z is when he was able to take it to a wind tunnel in Canada and go over and he found a lot of different problem areas with his aero package. And while I really want to get my car scanned in and do some CFD with it, that's kind of off in the future. It's going to be an expensive process or it's going to be very time consuming if I do it myself. So it's kind of one or the other, spend a lot of money or spend a lot of time. So we're going to cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, we can learn from some of the things that Sasha found out when he was testing his car. If you're familiar with the aerodynamics of the front half of a car, you know that there is going to be a high pressure system up in front of the nose of the car because that's what's impacting all the air. As it spills over the top of the hood, you get a low pressure system, and that is why hood vents are normally right here on your hood because that low pressure is gonna pull all that air out of the hood. It's gonna help with extraction. Now, if you look at some of the old muscle cars, which have a big bump all the way up here, and then their air intake is back here, that's because as the air hits your windshield, another high pressure system forms right here. And that high pressure, on the cowl is gonna come over and push it back in the intake because as the pressure builds up right here, it's gonna push it into that carburetor and that's what those big cowl intakes on muscle cars do. But what Sasha found on the 350Z is as that air built up right here on the windshield, it was pushing back down and causing lift and drag as it found its way back into the engine bay and up under the hood. So normally your windshield wipers would be right here and when he covered this up, he was able to reduce a great amount of front lift. And if you reduce lift, you're getting a net gain in downforce. So he already had a splitter and canards and all sorts of things up front. But by reducing that lift, he was no longer negating the downforce that was created by those arrow pieces. So adding this cowl cover is a great, cheap, and light way to improve the aero balance of your 350Z. Now, of course, this is a track only modification because you will have to remove your windshield wipers. I haven't had my windshield wipers for years and it has not been an issue even on track because I've got a coating on the windshield so all the water just flies off. So it hasn't been an issue even in some pretty heavy rain, but it's extremely simple. All this is is Coroplast, which is the same thing I've used on my dash and on my hood duct and a few other things. I've got it set up so that the strengthening veins are at a 45 degree angle so that both any pressure that is coming down is going to be supported. Whereas if you'd done it with them parallel to the hood, they wouldn't have a lot of support, it would just buckle. So I can see this at the track as I pick up speed, start to get pressed down and seal against the windshield and all that air that would try to tuck under is now having to go over the car. So you're increasing your downforce because you're forcing the air to go over the car, which is pushing it down, and you're preventing it from getting under the car and lifting it back up. You're also reducing drag because you're keeping a nice simple flow all the way through. Now as you can see, I have bolts here. I put nut certs in the hood. So I can remove this in just a few minutes and put my windshield wipers back on if it's just a torrential downpour and I know I'm really going to need them. But if you're getting serious about the aero on your 350Z and it is a race car or track car only, this is definitely a good place to improve the front aero balance on your 350Z or any car for that matter. It's also really cheap. I just It was just scraps from the other pieces of Coroplast I'd bought. It carries all the way from one side to the other so the hood is completely sealed against the windshield. There is no gap. You can even go so far as to add a rubber lining on here so that you're like 100% sealed, especially as that high pressure builds up, it's going to push this down to increase that seal. So the faster you go, the better this is going to work. So while this is a short video, and this is a very simple thing that you can do with just an X-Acto knife, some Sharpies, and a little bit of time, it is a very big improvement, and it's not going to help as much as, say, like a splitter or a spoiler or a diffuser, but it is going to make a big difference, and Sasha saw a huge change and the aero balance with just a few little changes up here. So I encourage you to watch that video. I'll put a link to the Speed Academy video down in the description. And of course, if you have any questions, you can drop those below in the comments, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.